Hey guys, my name is Frankie Chenna and I am the coach of WSDC Denmark as well as the owner of Fostering Debate Talent Academy in Vancouver, Canada, which is an academy devoted to teaching public speaking and debating. And I have been coaching high school debate for over 10 years. Um, I'm now going to speak about some of the questions on coaching preparation. So coaching for WSDC, um, I imagine would be very diverse depending on um, the country, the experience, the selection process and things like that. So I'll give a bit of insight insight as to how um, Team Denmark works. Um, we select our students in January and those students receive um, once a week training. I would say that once a week is definitely a good um, benchmark. I know it's what we've done um, ever since the beginning of Team Denmark and we find it to work pretty well. Since um, our coaching staff doesn't live in Denmark, um, we coach via Skype or Zoom. These platforms have been proven to be very effective and we found no major differences between in-person and, and online coaching. Um, we prefer for the team to meet in one space to be able to prep together, talk together and things like that. But even some, some of our sessions have the students in completely different um, um, places. I know in countries like Canada and the US where it's very, very big and broad um, and people live in different parts of the country, sometimes everyone has to be on their own Skype um, call and that is completely fine. Um, so yeah, our, our students basically meet once a week and we try to have two training camps or uh, boot camps uh, before Worlds, one in January and one right before Worlds, either during pre-Worlds or um, in Denmark or at the Worlds location um, for a few days to kind of work on the things that are best done in person. Um, so I would say that debaters and coaches should be able to give at least you know two hours a week um, yeah, that's probably the commitment that I would suggest. And then beyond that, students should expect to be able to do some reading, some video watching, some homework, and of course, tournament preparation um, as well. I think that tournaments should be a huge part of the preparation process and that uh, teams should try to go to at least uh, three or four tournaments before WSDC. Again, this is going to depend on your country's infrastructure. Some countries have a lot of debate tournaments and some have none. So in Denmark, we rely on mostly international tournaments because there aren't um, that many debate opportunities uh, in Denmark yet. Um... Yeah, so I think that's sort of the best advice I can give on the coaching uh, prep process. Uh, we don't necessarily have a set plan. We're always looking at the needs of the students, but we're trying to, to do a balance of practice debates, which probably take up about 75% of our coaching time. And then 25% is on skill building. So maybe style workshops or um, uh, different exercises, team prep strategy, content prep, things of, of that nature. So yeah, I hope that's helpful with regards to coaching prep.